Well, today we're going to take a look at outside. Guess what? It's cold and horrible out there. It's been snowy and sleety. Inside it's warm. My little flowering maple's blooming. But we're going to go see what it looks like outside. So here we go. Right over there. Cold and cold and dreary. I'll give my camera just a little bit of time to adjust. The poor asparagus fern has frozen in the cold. Just a little bit of green left. It may survive in here under the porch. Same with its twin. But what we're going to do is look at the hypertufa. You can see where the sleet has put ice. So let's hope I don't fall and break something, much less my camera. But here we go. Let's take a look. What I really wanted to show you is how nice the hypertufa behaves in the wintertime. This particular hypertufa pot, you can see it's in great shape on a pedestal so water drains out of it real well. But the plant inside is alive. Um, I gotta look that one up. I can't remember exactly what that one is, but I'll put that on the screen here on the side. You can maybe see that in a, another video. And then here is some of the, um, let me see, that's Angelina. And I'd have to look that one up too. I can't remember what that was. I don't think that was the blue elf. I think that's another one. I've got one of the urns covered. I think that's the one we had the impatience in, but I got that one covered by one of the screens that I screen peat moss so the varmints won't get in it and dig. And of course, that's our ivy in a pot. You can't kill that stuff if you tried. So it's just thriving along even though it's frozen. But meanwhile, out here in the ice. I want you to see these pots. Here's the one on little pedestals, of course. And it's just buried in the ice and the snow. The snow just blankets the whole thing and keeps it nice. You can even see the moss growing in the little crevices. Hopefully that's focusing. But it is just all crystallized in there. And that little uh, blue clips, I think this one was. Just fine. And I brought this so I could show you the ice. I'm in Ohio in Zone 5. And we're supposed to get a warm-up of about 40 degrees later in the day. So I needed to get out here early so that you can see the snow before it possibly would melt. And that's another blue clips. Again, have it on a pedestal so it won't sit in wetness. Another little one. I think that looks like the blue spruce. Looks really good. Okay. And then here, that's the little thrift. Pinks, sea thrift, I forget which one that was. And the hens and chicks that are in the snow and ice. Nice and red, beautiful colors, but that's how they behave. 
Look at that one. All the little pretty colors in that pot. Same with this one. That's the one that's got the, um, I think it was the iron oxide treatment on it. And then the air one. I guess I shouldn't worn, shouldn't have worn this leather coat. I hope it's not squeaking and making too much noise. But that one, you can see where the ice has puddled and it almost makes a little coating on the surface. But the pot itself is just fine. Now this particular one has slits in it so that the water can just trickle right down through. The pots behave wonderfully in the snow and ice. Now this one is on a big pedestal. And you can see how much. I'm pretty sure this is the blue elf. He's got a lot of water in him because it has just come down like crazy. But you can see that it's melting because it's gotten warmer. And that is a deciduous type plant or herbaceous, I forget which designation that is, but it dies out and then comes back from the ground like your sedum autumn joy does. Over here, there's a few more. Now that's a plastic pot, or that resin. And we had, I think it was the black and blue in that. But that doesn't live in the Ohio winter. And over here, you can see the pretty orange Angelina in the snow. Isn't that a pretty pot? On a pedestal. So when it's able to drain, it will drain. That one I have some, I think it's thyme and a few sempervivum. And Angelina, that's in the pot with my clematis. It did pretty well last year. But that again is in a big resin pot. And then these, I'll reference where I planted this last year. Look at that pretty color in the snow. This is what the Sempervivum, the Live Forevers, hens and chicks, this is what they do in the winter. The cold, cold weather brings out pretty, pretty colors. Looks gorgeous. But this is just to show you that you don't have to worry about your pots in the snow. They survive wonderfully. You can leave them out and they just melt and thaw because they're so porous. Now that one was those um, Sempervivum came potted in one of those ceramic strawberry jars. Now the ceramic strawberry jars I've had break. So I have that a little bit sheltered. Maybe it'll survive, maybe not. But you can see everything is doing real, real good. I got pretty colors. Over there is that little nursery pot. And my cactus. Let me come over here. Yeah, there's the nursery pot. Now you've seen that in a lot of films during the summer. It's just alive and doing well with pretty spots of color. And my Opuntia. In Ohio, it just withers away and looks dead. I'm hoping for flowers this spring because I didn't get flowers last summer on that. It looks pretty, doesn't it? But don't worry about your Hypotufa. It'll do well outside sorry no pots way out there is my land of the misfits and over here over here is a lot more 
up against the house. But I'm not going to get out in the yard. It's too soggy wet out there. The ground is. Don't want to get all wet. But everything looks good. So don't worry. In the freeze and the ice and the snow, we've been as low as in the teens in Ohio with maybe wind chill just a little bit lower than that. The Mandevilla took a nose dive when it got frosted, but I'll just get a new one in the spring. I don't have room for everything coming in. But that looks pretty good. Well, that'll about wrap it up for today, and I hope you've enjoyed the little trip in the ice and snow, and I hope my boot scrunching didn't make too much noise, but I'll attach a video you might like to watch next. Thanks for joining me.